Lee. Dan, Madison County Sheriff's Office investigators haven't released any new information about the investigation today, but the spokesperson just emailed me back in the last 30 minutes and told me that they're working to get this investigation closed soon, but they're not sure of the timeline right now. Here's what else we learned in the last 30 minutes. Um, we asked why the taser that they used on Dana Fletcher did not work in subduing him and why he had to be shot. We were told as far as the taser goes, they're not sure if both probes made contact or not. And with the taser, if you are within arm's reach, they typically don't have the best effect. They tell us there needs to be enough distance for the probes to spread apart a little bit to get the full effect. Now, we also asked what happened to Dana Fletcher's uh, wife and child who were with him when the shooting happened. We were told by the sheriff's office that they were released the night of the shooting, which would be Sunday night. We were told that when the officer saw the gun inside of the vehicle, that's when they reached to get the woman and child out safely. They say Fletcher had the gun in his hand when the taser was deployed. Now, we also asked the sheriff's office when we could learn the name of the five Madison police officers who were placed on administrative leave. We know two of those officers fired their weapon. The sheriff's office told us they have no, um, they had planned not to release those five officers' names. Live in Madison County, Sydney Martin, Waythrop.